Dave Palumbo here for Muscle Serpents University, and I'm here at the Tampa Reptile Expo, and I just ran into a, a new friend of mine, Christopher, with the biggest Dumeril's boa I've ever seen in my entire life. Did, I didn't know they got this big. Very rarely. Only in the females. Uh, they max out at about eight foot, and you can feel her. She's about 60 pounds at the size she is. Which wow, is I just adjusted my neck. I needed my neck adjusted, but she's beautiful, too. What oh, yeah. beautiful. Uh, do you breed her? Uh, not yet. She bred last season, 14 mm. babies. Wow. And I mean, just best temperament you could ever ask for in a snake. She's just so mellow. I've had little kids holding her all day. You don't see Dumeril boas that much, and you certainly don't see them this big. You always no. see them as babies, and uh, this is just a gorgeous snake. And uh, what a way to start the, uh, the Tampa Reptile Show for me. And uh, I want to thank you so much. Oh, no problem. Guys, stay with us all day long here. We're going to go inside, we're going to film many segments, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and uh, thank my friend Christopher for his awesome Doomerals bone. I'm here with Rich Del Bono from Da Vinci Boas, and this is some boa. You you had to have brought this to just get people to come by the That's booth and go crazy. This is the Super Fire Diamond, obviously Correct. Jeremy Stone yep. brought to the marketplace, and uh, that's a female? That's a female. She's uh, putting on some nice size. What year is that? Uh, she is a 2015. Okay. Now you, I have a 2015 too, but mm -hmm. she's a lot bigger, probably because I'm overfeeding her, but yeah. Um, yeah, she, she had a hard start. Um, we had to force feed her quite a bit. Oh, you did? And so she's probably six months behind where gotcha. yours is. Did and, you breed her? No, no, I got her from Jeremy. Oh, you got it from Jeremy yeah. too. Yeah, mine has been eating like a like a maniac since I got her. She'll eat, eat anything. Better than any boa. Them and the IMGs are one of the best feeders I have. When I got mine, she was so aggressive that she was, you know, she was a, a, mm -hmm. she was biting herself when right. I would hold her. Right. And but that was good, obviously, because she was a good feeder because of that. And then she right. she calmed down like they all seem to do. Now, you're known for the Kraken. We talked about the the, the, the Kraken last time right, right. we interviewed you, I believe, at uh, Daytona. But you got some really cool stuff. I want to I want to show people ring pythons because, uh, you know, I know you years ago, years pythons. ago, the ring python was all over the place, yeah. and then it seemed like people yeah. just stopped breeding it, and it disappeared. And now it seems like it's a rare snake. They're hard to breed, um, very hard to breed actually. So I think that's why the price is the way it is, and I think that's why the rarity is the way it mm. is because they don't breed like anything else. What, um, what's this? What do you have to do to them to get them to breed? Leave them alone. Really? Yeah, it's they're and they have to be. You said six years sexual maturity. Yeah, five to six years sexual maturity. Like I said, the the third rack down. Those are mm. two and a half year old females. Wow. So they take forever to grow. What do they eat? These are eating mice. The ones are even the adults are eating mice. Really? Yeah, we don't feed them a lot. No, that's no. crazy. Let's let's get let's take some out. Let's get right, your I'm buddy. Gonna, I'm gonna try this. All right. But I I'll hold I'll bleed. hold her. I'm gonna bleed. So <laughs> bleeding is good as long as we can capture it on camera. So I'll hold my super fire diamond here and stay out of the harm's way of the vicious ringed pythons. They really change a lot as they get older. Now these, these well, are juveniles in here. Essence is uh, absolutely crazy on these animals. But they get, they, yeah, they get that those aridophores really pop. Well, they're born like a uh, what do you call it? Halloween? They're black and orange. Black and, and orange, and then they, they get age, darker. Yeah, they get darker. I mean, you can't grab these. Right. You have to really be careful with them. I, I love the, how I'm beautiful scared, they are. But I'm but cautious. He, he's not scared, but he's scared. <laughs> <laughs> now, do they tame down or no? They get worse. Yeah, no. Vinny, Vinny can handle these animals. Like right. no, I mean, he's the ring python whisperer, but. Right. I mean, that's, that's a gorgeous looking thing. It almost looks like a blackhead with the, with, you know, the head on it. Yeah, they're like little blackheads on them. With better, with better color, you know. Yeah, they have really good color. Now, you this is, you said, light. two and a half years old? No, these are what, five or six? Yeah. So these yeah. are almost mature. These are mature. So they can breed. This is a mature male, and that's a female. That's a mature female. We have a couple other females at home that are a little bit bigger, okay. but that's about the size. So they don't get huge? No, 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 no. It's a smaller okay. smaller Australian python, so, it's like a Woma. Right, so as long as you don't, you don't mind getting bitten once in a while, it's yeah, a great you're pet. you're going to get bit. Regardless, yeah. you're going to get bit. And they're fast. Are they are they cage aggressive too in terms of food? Um, yes, absolutely. Like mm -hmm. I said, if you blink, you're going to miss them eating. They're really? instantly fat. I mean, right. it's ridiculous how fast they are. Now, I have olive pythons, and I, olive pythons, you know, out of yep. nowhere will bite you too. Yep. And they have Same. long teeth. Do these also have the, the yep. long teeth like all the Australian pythons do? Yes, sir. 
And what part of Australia are these pythons Bismarck. found? Bismarck. These are from Biz these are Bismarck Green pythons. Yeah, the Highlands. The Highlands. Uh, so they they're on rock formations and yeah. stuff like that. That's just a, an exquisite looking snake. I'm really surprised I haven't gotten bit yet. I, I'm surprised that you uh, you got it. You kind of deviated a little well, bit. Well, you this pushed is, me into it, so I had to. Oh, uh, you had to do something different. I'm unique. on video here. Okay. No, but I'm just saying, I, I, I'm surprised you guys moved away from what your strength is, which is like boas we and didn't carpets. We moved away. We yeah. diversified. I got we you. We added it on. Um, I still do boas. Mm. And, it's, and that's what I do mainly, right. but Vinny's the one that does all of the gotcha. egg laying species for I me. See. Well, but, um, gorgeous yeah. snake. Thank you. Gorgeous snake. What, what can we expect from Da Vinci in the uh, this coming later this year? Oh, IMGs, uh, possibly some, some Kraken Raptors. Wow. Yeah, That'll possibly. be cool. Possibly. We'll see what happens. All right. I don't want to jinx you. Um, some cool blood stuff hopefully some um img um uh, i have blood head sharp wow yeah i got some exciting cool stuff, stuff coming down the pipes good luck man good to see you again thanks